Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. My name is Rushi Panchal and in this video we are going to learn a types of blur effect in Adobe Photoshop. So friends, you can find a types of blur effect in a filter. Here you can see a blur and a blur gallery. Okay, blur have some of the types of blur, also the blur gallery have. So friends, first of all we are going to see the blur, okay, where we are going to apply a blur on this image, fine. So to see the result, first of all, what we are doing, we are just duplicating this image so that if something happen, you can just deleting the duplicate image or you can also just switch it on and off to see the result. OK, so I'm just going to filter and going to blur and apply a blur. OK, and as you can see the result, OK, this is the original one and this is after applying a blur. OK. So friends, the blur filters look for the significant transitions or edges and then blur them together to create a soften image like this. OK, so for now, I'm just deleting this and now we are going to learn a second, which is and blur more. OK, for example, I am already apply one blur, which is in blur. First of all, just duplicating this layer, going to filter blur and I'm just applying a blur. OK, now. I'm just going to filter blur and apply a blur more. So the blur more filter creates an even a more blurry image after you already used a general blur filter. Okay. So every time you apply this effect, it's create a four times more than it was originally blurred. Okay. As you can see. So first of all, what I'm doing, I'm just uh, duplicating this uh, layer. Okay. So this is a normal blur. Now I'm going to filter blur and applying a blur more. See the result. These are blur more. These are normal blur. OK, see the result. These are blur more. These are normal blur. Fine. So is a second type, which is a blur more. So I'm just deleting this. Now, friends, next we are going to learn is a box blur. OK, so for that, I'm just duplicating this original image going to filter blur and box blur okay so from this dialog box you can increase and decrease the radius so it will apply a different different blur so as you can see if you increase the radius it will apply a more box blur so friends the box blur effect in adobe photoshop is a tool used to soften a blur image it works by the averaging the colors within the defined area smoothing out harsh edges and detail like this okay i'm just applying it to two percent see the result okay so friends this is an box blur now next we are going to learn is in gaussian blur so for that we are just uh, getting this image okay I'm just duplicating this image fine I'm working on this duplicate image just go to filter blur and here you can see a Gaussian blur from here you can increase and decrease the radius according to requirement fine now what I'm doing I'm just applying the Gaussian blur to here and as you can see the whole image become the blurry now what I want to do I just want to blur the background and I want this percent clear so first of all, I'm just going to select a magnetic lasso tool. If you don't know about the magnetic lasso tool, then we provide you a link in the description below. OK, we already cover all types of lasso tool in our previous video. So friends, I'm just applying a magnetic lasso tool on this person. Fine. I'm just starting from here. Just selecting it roughly. So if you are pressing a space so that you can move this image. I'm just doing this roughly, but once you are doing it, make it uh, proper. So we have already covered this magnetic lasso tool and other lasso tools in our previous video. If you don't know about this tool, then we provide you a link in the description below. So you can just uh, check that link to learn about the lasso tool. OK, now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select and make it inverse. Now go to filter and applying a Gaussian blur. 
okay and you as you can see the result so just control d to deselect the selection as you can see the result this is the original one and this is after applying a gaussian blur so this kind of uh, image you can create using a gaussian blur fine so friends next we are going to learn is a lens blur uh, for the lens blur i'm selecting this image okay uh, just duplicate this layer and go to filter blur and a lens blur once you apply the lens blur this dialog box of lens blur is open so the lens blur effect in adobe photoshop simulate the depth of field you'll get from using a camera lens it's let you adjust the blur strength and a shape of mimic different lens characteristics so from here you can up decrease and increase the radius okay just press ok and as you can see the result so friends next we are going to learn is a motion blur okay show the motion blur effect and adobe photoshop create a illusion of motion by blurring the object in a specific direction so for that i'm just duplicating this layer okay going to filter blur and applying a motion blur once i'm applying this here you can see you can change the angle of the motion you can see this uh, vertical as well as you can add any degree you want i'm just make it a horizontal because i just want to show that the car is not a steady but it's moving okay so once i am applying this so it's applied on a whole image uh, including this car so what i'm doing i'm just undo this and uh, we are again go to this magnetic lasso tool and selecting this car car go to select and inverse selection okay i just make it roughly uh, go to filter blur and make it motion blur fine and as you can see the result okay this is our original image and this is upler applying a motion blur okay you can just adjust it properly make it a proper selection so that uh, you can have a good result fine so this is a motion blur so friends next we are going to see is a radial blur just duplicating this layer go to filter blur and a radial blur fine so the radial blur effect in adobe photoshop create a circular or elliptical blur around a central point simulating the appearance of the motion of depth it's commonly used to add a dynamic energy or a focus to images okay i'm just increase the amount of this and press ok and as you can see the result after applying a radial blur fine so friends next we are going to learn is a smart blur okay for that i'm just duplicating this actor image fine uh, going to filter blur and just applying a smart blur okay you can increase a radius from here so the smart blur filter smooth out a gain and a noise patterns between edges okay just press ok and as you can see the result you have a lot of control of this blur in a dialog box okay see the result fine so friends next we are going to learn is a surface blur for that go to blur and select a surface blur okay so the surface blur effect in adobe photoshop is a tool used to selectively blur an image while preserving a edge detail okay it's look by smoothing out areas or a similar colors and texture so i'm just uh, increasing this to show you the result you can also add a threshold fine so the threshold setting determines how the different the pixel needs to be before they are blurred if you want a very minimal changes choose the lowest setting i'm just make it okay okay for that first of all i'm just duplicating this layer and now again we are going to apply a surface blur now you can see the result this is the original one this is applying a surface blur okay so this is also a very good type of blur effect 
so friends next we are going to learn is a field blur go to filter and now we are going to see the blur gallery in this blur gallery you can see a field blur just select this okay now this is very important blur the field blur in adobe photoshop is a tool used to apply a customizable blurring to a different areas of an image okay just select this and as you can see you have the ability to change the blur of this area okay so once you select the field blur you can see the blur gallery open your entire image will be blurred and you see a little circle these are the little circle okay the circle is called a pin which can be moved or a duplicate alternatively you can drag the slider located in the top left corner or a blur gallery like this you can just slide it to increase and decrease the part of this area i am just moving this to her face and just decrease it so i can see it clearly like this you can just move it or increasing and decreasing the blur okay i just want to see the hand part properly so i'm just selecting this and decreasing it fine and just press okay so as you can see this is the applying a field blur and this is the original one okay so friend this is in field blur now next we are going to see an iris blur so for that we are going to get this image okay just duplicating this layer going to filter blur gallery and here we are going to select an iris blur okay so once we selecting this iris blur you can see these uh, lines okay so first of all i am going to tell you what this line called now this line this is handle a roundness okay this is handle a feather you can handle a feather now this is a center pin and this is a blur pin from here you can increase and decrease the blur fine so this is the use of this i am just putting on here okay just decrease the size of this now i'm just the increase the blur fine and just press okay and as you can see the result very nice boom so friends like this you can use an iris blur in adobe photoshop to make a very creative images okay so friends the iris blur filter in adobe photoshop works similar to the field blur but focuses significantly on a blurring a subject's eye within a more control as you can see the result okay now friends next we are going to learn is a tilt blur okay for that uh, we are going to uh, select this image fine just duplicating this uh, image and go to filter blur gallery and here i am selecting a tilt shift okay so as you can see the tilt shift filter in adobe photoshop helps to prevent a perspective distortion by controlling where the focus falls in a image i am just moving this pinpoint to this face okay it can also make a photo looks like they were take with a micro lens making an object appear miniature okay so i am just increase and decrease this blur slides so increase the blur and decrease the blur you can also make it vertical like this okay or you can also work on a horizontal okay so like the iris blur you can adjust the shape of the blur area the solid lines mark the in area where there is no blur unless you adjust the focus okay this line don't have this blur now the dotted line as you can see this is a dotted line show where the blur is at its maximum okay from here you can see the blur at its maximum now between the solid and the dotted line the blur gradually faded and forms a gradient from here to here as you can see it give a gradient blur just press it okay and i'll show you the result as you can see this is an original one and this is up after applying a tilt shift effect fine so friends next we are going to learn is a path blur okay so we are what we are doing i am just uh, okay i already have selected this effect so we are going to use this old effect where i am just applying and the path blur okay now from here you can apply a path from where to where you want and blur so i just want a 
from here to here or you can also create your own path fine just click here and you can add your own path like this see okay as you can see the result if you move this point and see the blur okay so this blur type is also very important if you want to make a path blur fine I am just to make it it you can just uh, selecting this and deleting this like this fine and press ok and as you can see the effect okay so this is an path blur now next we are going to learn is an spin blur for that I'm just selecting this car wheel okay or you can also work on that our old image this image also for that I'm just first of all I'm showing you this type for this wheel going to blur gallery and applying a spin blur see so it's enable you to create a circular motion effect that emulate an object's rotation fine I'm just increase the size so that it's apply on a full wheel okay you can increase the blur from here okay just press ok and as you can see this is an after applying a spin blur and this is an original one fine so the same we are going to apply on this car okay we are already applying a blur over here so we are just going to apply a filter blur and spin blur okay a very big part I'm just moving to here okay so you have to adjust according to your requirement I'm just uh, decreasing to like this make it on a center fine okay so I'm just press ok fine now for the second wheel I'm going to do a blur gallery spin blur okay applying uh, one more blur just put it over here okay make it on a center and then I'm just applying proper roundness okay you can also use your arrow to adjust it and may press ok see the result ok so this is the original one and this after applying a different different blur type in Adobe Photoshop so friends that's all about a blur type effects in Adobe Photoshop okay if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get the notification thank you so much guys see you in the next video